Hi guys, it's me, Jen. I had a request to show you guys how to use the animation section of the beautiful, amazing app, Easy Poser Pro. I believe that the animation section is only available with the Pro. So, um, the Pro, I think, is, I think it's $3 or $3.99 US. I can't remember exactly how much it is. But if you like this app, it's absolutely worth it if you can swing it. So what you want to do is you just want to get a girl up here, any or a boy or whoever you want. Just get a little mannequin thing. Then you're going to look along the bottom. You're going to see what looks like a person's head with a plus sign, what looks like a person's upper body, a chair, and then you're going to see something that looks like kind of almost like a YouTube video. It looks like a little video icon with a person walking. You're going to click onto that. Once you get into this section, you're going to notice that down here there is a bunch of different poses. So these are all animations. Now there's two separate kinds so far. Now usually they do tend to add more as time goes by. So far since they've opened this animation thing, they haven't, but I'm sure they will in time. You have um, the regular base animations and then you have breakdancing animations. So these are kind of funny. I'm not sure how often you'll have a use for them, but you know, in case you do, they're there. So what you want to do is click on the base animations. That's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to click on this one. And if you can see, this is how it works. They just go through a cycle. This is more like a normal walking pose. Once you have them in this cycle, you can use this thing over here. It's on the upper right hand corner. You can slide this down to make them walk slowly or make them walk fast or somewhere in the middle. This is super useful because if you're trying to do any kind of um, animation or any kind of drawing reference for characters that are in motion, having them do the movement slowly is definitely going to help you zero in on certain poses. Now, like regular easy poser with the regular poses, you can easily take a snapshot, bring it into your drawing software, and then go ahead and take care of, you know, tracing it and stuff if you want to. But with the animations, it's not that easy. There's no way to save video clips on this app. So unfortunately, this section is more just better used for reference. So once you have an animation that you like, I'm going to get, uh, let's do, let's do running. All right. So now we're in the running animation and it's in the basic section. And this is something that you're probably going to use a lot if you're doing any kind of animation, any kind of manga, any, any kind of comic book art, because people are always running to something or from something. So you can either have it at a full fast paced run. Wait, that's slow. Sorry guys. Whoops. You can either have it at a full fast paced run like this, which is just a more natural run. And the good thing about this app is that you can literally see it from any angle that you may possibly need. So if you've ever tried to search Google for running images or things like that, you're not always going to find what you need, especially if you need a certain angle, you may not find that. So this app is amazing for that. You can do it from below, from above. You can just, you know, really, really, really kind of go crazy. You can slow it down like that. So you can really see every single articulation and how the body moves. And you can even do one more thing if you want to. And that's if you take away the poses, you're going to get a play pause button. So what you can do is you can hit pause on a certain section like that and you can just zero in and study that angle and then when you're ready to get the, the next angle you can do this so this is really really good if you're trying to get a good running cycle and you want to kind of break it down i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you're notified I make lots of videos about this software and how to use it so if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to ask you're going to find a bunch of videos that are going to be useful to you in the cards about this software also if you have any other uh software that you'd like me to test that has to do with art and drawing and animation definitely comment below and i will check those apps out for you i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next video Take care.